What is going on everybody? Tyler Brandt back here with another video and today we are finally going to talk about the Patriots first pick that they made in the 2020 draft and that of course is safety Kyle Duggar. Now I know I did the whole draft week coverage a few months ago and then life kind of got in the way so I kind of didn't have an opportunity to, opportunity to really talk about him and some of the other draft picks but Today's video is going to primarily and pretty much exclusively focus on Kyle Duggar and, you know, kind of his ceiling, what he should be, especially in his rookie year with New England, and some of the pros and cons of him, you know, in his college career and, and what to expect of him going forward. So let's just jump right into it. Let's talk Kyle Duggar the safety for the New England Patriots. Kyle Duggar was taken in the second round, the 37th pick overall by New England. Now, he was a D2 player. He played at Lenore Ryan University. I think I'm saying that right. And he was the Cliff Harris Award winner. That is an award given to the best defensive player that is at a small school. So basically, the best Division II player in the country. He's 6'2", 220 pounds, and he's he's a lot of man, and he's a lot of very good player, a lot of very good to him, but we also have to take a note that he was playing around significantly less competition, which is what we're going to kind of get into first. So the first thing, especially when watching Kyle Duggar on tape, I think that we all need to realize going into the season is that Kyle Duggar played, again, Division II school. And a lot of time, especially on the tape against Division II players, he looks like an absolute stud. He looks like the best athlete on the field in almost all of his tape. And the way that he kind of roams the field and sees the field at that level reminded me of the way I'm going to say it. And this is again, just in division two, the way that he kind of plays with a reckless abandonment, but it's kind of a smart aggression to his game. It reminds me of, a, of an Eddie Jackson, of a Jamal Adams, of a Harrison Smith, the guys that are at the very top of the list of NFL safeties. Now, does that mean he's going to get there in the NFL? I, I don't know. I'm not comparing him to these guys today because I, I don't think that Duggar is going to necessarily have a big role in New England's defense. I say that because the reason I think he was drafted so high was because of his elite, elite athleticism, the fact that he is a very good defensive player, especially he was in college, but it's his versatility. In college, he lined up as a linebacker, he lined up as a safety, he lined up as a single high safety, he lined up as a basically slot corner, he played special teams, he returned punts, he's very versatile. So I think a lot of what got him drafted so early was the versatility that he showed along with the athleticism that he showed in Division 2. So Kyle Duggar really made... His big mark. I, I mean, people saw the tape on Duggar, but it was his senior bowl tape that really got him drafted. And it was when he was playing against some of the elite competition. And that's when he looked good and he put a lot of really good things on tape, especially as a pass defender. He didn't, you know, rewrite the history of books, but he, he did look very promising in the past. And he was in Division Two as well as in the senior bowl. What I think the worst part of him on tape was is as a run defender. I, I think he, you know, he comes down in the box. He, he can rush the passer pretty well from the safety position, especially if he's schemed to do so. It, it lumps, Sometimes it looked like at the point of attack, he, you know, doesn't meet the runner 50-50. He waits for the runner to get to him. Little things like that that I think can be fixed. I also want to attribute it a little bit because I think, you know, when you're D2, you, you have to look your best at every time to even have an opportunity to get drafted. But I think when you're the uh, a prime primal athlete on the field and you're the best athlete on the field, which for him a lot of the times he was, you can get lazy. And I know it's a very bad habit, but I think a lot of his bad stuff on tape, especially in Division 2, is because he gets a little lazy and potentially gets a little bored. But I think that as a pass defender, he showed a lot of promise, especially his versatility as a pass defender. And I think the, the one positive 
no matter what on tape, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, he is always around the ball. He's coming down, even if they don't need him to stop the run, he comes down to stop the run. He's always, you know, in the pile of guys around the ball. And I think those are instincts, and that is production that you really can't teach to just be around the play. A, a lot of defensive backs and, and cornerbacks in the league, if, you know, a play's happening on the other side of the field, not every single one of them is on the pile on the other side of the field. Him, when you watch him on tape, no matter where the ball is or where the ball carrier is, he seems to be around that area, which is just a delight to watch. I do, however, think that the lack of competition in Division Two is going to hurt his prospects as a starter, at least in 2020. I think the safety room for New England right now is loaded. You know Devin McCourty is going to get probably every snap that he can get. You know Patrick Chung is going to get probably every snap that he can get. They did sign Adrian Phillips in free agency. Terrence Brooks, I know he's hit or miss, but he's had some nice games too. So you have to assume that he's at least going to be part of some of the game plans. And I think that Kyle Duggar's ability as a special teamer is going to relegate him to the special teams at least in the 2020 season. I just think that the safety room in New England is a little too crowded right now. And I think a lot of the issues that popped up for him, especially as you analyze, are coming with game speed. Division two, Division one, any sort of college football, the game speed is miles different than it is in the NFL. And I think that's what's going to take Kyle Duggar the most time to get acclimated with the NFL is the game speed, is the guys that he may have to be responsible going one on one against, things like that. And, and with the, like I said, with a loaded safety room, I just don't think that there's a spot for Kyle Duggar in 2020 in the starting lineup, at least not in bulk. I, I do, however, think that when you watch him on tape and the things that he does well. And in a, spot, in a spot like New England where when he gets acclimated, he can be schemed to success. I think he does have the athleticism and the, the just the, the, the talent of a guy like Jamal Adams, of a guy like Harrison Smith. I do think when you watch them on tape, they just are different. You could just see them running on the field. You see them when they're on the field and making plays. And I think you get that same wow factor with Kyle Duggar. And I think the talent is there. It's just getting acclimated at the next level. So I do like the pick. I was very confused at first when they made the pick, but I do understand, especially because Patrick Chung's been in the league for a lot of years. I think this contract with New England that, that he has now will probably be his last. And if you can add a guy like Duggar, who with Belichick, with Gerard Mayo, with Steven Belichick, I think he can be an absolute phenom on the defensive side of the ball. I think he can be schemed anywhere on the field. That's one of the things when I was watching tape on Duggar and on other elite safeties in the league is a lot of times they're schemed to be pass rushers. They're schemed down by the ball. They're schemed as a linebacker. They're schemed as a slot corner. They're schemed on tight ends. And I think he does all that very well. I think it's just getting acclimated at the next level. So I think that's what's the biggest learning curve for Kyle Duggar to really carve out a spot on this team. I don't think it'll happen in 2019. But with between his raw athleticism and the proper coaching and his work ethic, I think, without a doubt, I think Duggar is a good pick and he can and has the potential to be a very, very good to an elite safety as time goes on in the NFL. That'll do it for today's video. What do you think about Kyle Duggar? What do you think of the pick? What do you think of the Patriots draft? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to chop it up with you. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. You can friend me on Facebook. You can follow the page on Facebook, Tyler Brandt. Twitter, Instagram, at the real Tyler Brandt. Let me know what you think. Again, I'd be happy to chop it up with anybody that wants to talk. And please subscribe. Please, we're growing slowly. Every day we're growing a little bit more. And I appreciate every single subscription, every single comment. Good, bad. Hopefully they're mostly good. But I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Tyler Brandt, and I'll catch you on the next video.